What's up YouTube? This is Rebecca the Diva coming at y'all with another video. But before I get into this video, if you're new, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca. And all I'd like for you to do is hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, select the notification bell and select all. So every time I upload a video, you'll get notified. Hit the share button because sharing is caring. There are no secrets on this channel, okay? We keep it straight 100. Hit that like button. Come on, y'all. Because a lot of y'all be viewing this video and, and y'all don't be liking. So, thumbs it up. Come on. And also, leave a comment down in the comment section for your girl, good or bad. And just please be advised that if you're going to be negative with me, I'll be negative back. And for those of you have, that have been rocking with your girl, welcome back, Diva Gang. Hey. It is Wednesday. Hump day. Middle of the week. Um, What day is it? What day? The 5th. No, the 6th. May the 6th. Um, just coming on here with a little quickie quick video updating y'all on what's going on with me. Because I haven't brought y'all any content in a couple of days. So I wanted to make sure I stay relevant and, and up to date on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have been extremely busy. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I am launching my own cosmetics line. And right now, what they'll be consisting of is um, your eyelashes, because everybody be wearing lashes. I'm going to have that popping poppin lip gloss, as well as some body butters, and also some, um, probably some accessories I'll do too. I want to more so do clothing line too, but for right now, it'll just be the lashes, the lip gloss. Uh, the body butters and some accessories so when i mean accessories we're gonna do some earrings we're gonna do some um you know little bracelets charm bracelets stuff like that okay so that's what i've been busy doing just putting in all the footwork getting the website up and running adding my items to the website i'm still in the process of hunting down um supplies you know because the lip glosses are going to be homemade you know, so there's like lots to go into that. And once I do get all of my supplies that I need, I will definitely sit and do a video. I'm um, showing y'all how it's going to be made, what goes in it. You know, it's not as um, easy as people think. <laughs> you know, you just don't wake up in the morning and say, hey, I'm going to start a business. And um, boom, it's, it's up and running. No, it's a lot that goes into this, like a whole lot. You know, more than what I really realize, a lot of money that I'm putting into it of my own money, you know, not even knowing what the future is going to hold. My main thing right now is trying to um, find different routes of and avenues of um, advertisement. So, of course, there's Instagram. I do have an Instagram um, dedicated to my lash um, line. I think what I'm going to do is make a whole separate one dedicated to the whole cosmetic line thing. Because when I first had this idea, it was just going to be lashes. And then it's like, I don't even wear lashes, and I'm being honest, you know. Um, but I do a lot of lip glosses. I'm like the lip gloss queen okay so i was like i want to sell lip gloss too you know i want to sell something that i know i'm actually going to use you know now as far as the lashes i have grown daughters and they you won't see them without lashes on okay you know how the young people are um when i do get some lashes i'm probably going to be bougie and go just to the shop whenever that may be <laughs> and get some lash extensions um done and i'm also want to get my eyebrows micro microbladed but that's neither here nor there um yeah so that's what i've been working on whenever you see me in my a that, that that means i'm just working trying to make sure that i'm trying to get content out for you guys working on this business because like I said trying to just put together a business is hard this is not my first go at it I used to have my own beauty supply online beauty supply um, store back years ago and it was very successful I had um, but I stopped doing it because I was relocating and going through a bunch of other stuff so it was like okay let me shut that down and I just never picked it back up um, I also do want to do some um, hair extension. I don't know whether I'm going to do bundles or just do the wigs. I don't know. 
Cause see me personally, I don't even buy bundles anymore. I always go and get my wigs. Um. So I have to do some deep, deep thinking. But if I do do um any type of hair, it'll probably be like towards the fall. Right now, for spring and summer, we're just focusing on getting those lashes and the lip gloss out. I do have some in stock, and I do offer on my website. Um, and like I said, I'm going to do a whole launch thing, like a whole video dedicated to the launch of the business. Like I said, I still have some other things that I have to work around, you know. Um, and put in the comments if you guys want to know how to go about starting your own business. I know a lot of people, you know, have ideas. They may want to sell stuff. And a lot of people just don't know how to go about doing it. And to legitimately have your joint legalized and, you know, getting your EIN number from the tax, the IRS, and getting your business license from, you know, the city that, or the county that you live in. I mean, it's a lot that goes into it. So it's just not look online, buy some products, and make a website, sell it on Instagram. It's not that simple, you know. So if you guys want to know the real nitty-gritty, the real ins and outs of um, how do you go about starting your own business, then let me know. You know, I'll glad I'm, I'm not like other YouTubers. I wouldn't charge somebody for any type of information. Whatever information that I know, I'm glad to give it out. You know, there are a lot of YouTubers um, out there that will give you a lot of information. Just like, here, here you go. You know, and I'm grateful for that because I've been YouTubing a lot. Especially when it comes to this lip gloss because I want to do it right. I don't want to do it cheap. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I say I'm investing a lot of money into this whole thing. Because I'm not trying to be cheap about it. Because I personally don't buy cheap lip gloss. I think the cheapest lip gloss I bought for myself was, you know, the little <laughs> $1.99 lip gloss that they sell at the beauty supply store. They come in the little fruit flavors. Yeah, that's it's more liquidy than anything. Yeah, though that's what I have. Um, that's like the cheapest one. I only bought that because I think I bought like a strawberry or a cherry for my daughter, and then I saw watermelon. I love anything watermelon flavored, watermelon scented, but it don't even really smell like watermelon, you know. And that's why I say it's a lot that goes into it because if you want to sell scented lip glosses there's the flavoring oils that you have to buy and right now i had to narrow it down to two different brands i have not yet ordered them yet because they're back ordered on amazon so i'm hoping that i can get that order in this weekend and hopefully get it delivered saturday sunday something like that you know so there's the different flavor and i want the strongest it was me personally when i when i have a flavored lip gloss and I put it on. I want it to be able to taste that little flavor in it. I want, when I walk past somebody, I want them to be like, "Ooh, she smell like cherry. Mmm, she smell like strawberry." That's 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 what I want my lip glosses to be. And I'm um, also I um I'm gonna sell two different types of lip gloss. I'm gonna sell lip gloss, of course, dedicated to us grown folks. But I do have a 12 year old daughter, and I think I'm gonna make, let her launch her own line of lip gloss. You know, kind of geared toward the younger tween, preteen kids, you know. I think that will be a great idea that where she can put her touch on it. If she wanted to smell like bubble gum and put glitter and all of that in there, let her do her thing. I'm, yeah, I'm definitely going to do that. So the, for the lip glosses, there will be the little kids line and then there will be the adult line. Um, So basically, for the past two days, that's what all I've been doing, of course, still quarantined you know although they're my state i live in florida we're in phase one of opening up um the state again but i'm not going nowhere unless i have to you know and that's that that's just what it is you know i'm not gonna chance myself getting sick or my kids getting sick you know we're we're in you know i normally limit myself to once um a week going out to handle business and stuff like that um, I'm going to probably have to bump that up to twice, especially with orders and stuff like that for my um, cosmetics line. I'm definitely going to have to go to like the post office or the UPS store, you know, whatever. 
and also I did choose I, I posted it in my community tab but also I just want to put on here I did pick a winner to the giveaway that I had last week it was Latasha SW so if you guys want to go on over to her channel and subscribe to her channel give her a little you know you know congratulations um she won twenty dollar walmart gift card and also lashes and latasha I, I i have your lashes girl i'm definitely gonna mail them out to you this week okay but other than that your girl has just been working grinding working grinding working grinding trying to get it done okay it's like i said it's a lot that's going into this but at the end of it all it'll be worth it so um like I said, if you guys want to know how to start your own business, whether it be eyelashes or lip gloss or purses or, you know, anything that you do or want to sell or whatever have you, or if you do hair or nails or whatever have you, put down in the comments that you want a detailed video and I'll be glad to do a detailed video for you. But until next time, guys, bye.